Hello, everyone. I hope you are all well. I hope you are all working on yourself, getting better every day, healing, feeling, and growing. I know I'm doing that. It's a beautiful day here in Chicago. These wildfires are actually crazy. I want to talk about today healing. I think that healing has become very, I think healing has become capitalized on by corporations who take buzzwords and try to profit off of it. What does a billion not, what is, what is a billion dollar corporation truly actually know about healing, meditation, self-introspection? This, these tricks for mind control are used for the purpose of making us believe we should be okay with what they're feeding us, right? You're working a nine to five, you're making 17 an hour, but really it's 11 because of taxes. You come home, you have 70, 60, $90 in your pocket, and you're supposed to meditate because a corporation told you that everything will be okay just breathe because they want you to come back to work. No, today I want to talk about healing as an experience, not a destination. You don't become healed. You don't fix yourself. We work every day to become better versions of ourselves, to love ourselves more, to care for people more, but we're never healed because there's always something. The idea that we will walk into our next relationship, friendship, opportunity, and be healed from everything in our past is ridiculous. Walking into an hour-long therapy session trying to fix all of your problems is like trying to throw a bucket of water on a wildfire and expecting it to put it out. It won't. It takes consistent water. It takes consistent rainfall. It takes consistent effort, right? And at the end of our life, we'll never still be there. So instead, let's go through some of the things that can help. Acknowledging our flaws and accepting the fact that we're getting better. I ain't perfect. You ain't perfect. <gasps> really? <laughs> we have to accept that, right? That... I am not the perfect human being, neither are you. And every day we're working on getting better, becoming better versions of ourselves. But if we can learn to love that version of us, this very version of us right now, it's gonna help the next version. Sit there and say, I thank the old version of me for getting me to this spot. I thank the 12-year-old Isaiah for getting me here. I thank the 17-year-old Isaiah for getting me here. I thank the 19-year-old Isaiah, the five-year-old Isaiah who was trying to survive for getting me here. Healing is an experience every day. It's breath work. It's taking a moment. And healing happens in the midst. Healing happens when I am just about to do that thing that I always do that I know is not healthy for me, them, or my environment. And I stop and I get real honest and call myself out on my own BS. Wait a minute, hold up. Why am I, why am I about to cuss them out? Why am I about to yell at them? I'm really actually, I'm mad at myself. That's why. I told them I would be at the gym at 2.30. I got there at 2.50. They've already started the workout. Now they don't think that I am responsible with my time. Now our relationship is going to be a little frayed, and I'm not mad at them. Let me take a moment. I'm actually mad at me because I was late because I slept in a little bit. My alarm wasn't working. My entire day is thrown off. So now I'm taking that anger out on them. No. Let me take a moment. Healing happens in that moment, the right before. Because we can do all of the external work, but until it reflects itself in action, what's going to truly change? Wait a minute. I'm about to download this app. It is not about 
necessarily the action you're taking, but the reason why, the why behind everything, right? I'm about to download this app because it gives me a lot of dopamine and I'm actually trying to run away from something else. Oh, let's address that. Let's address that abandonment and that not feeling wanted. Let's address the desire to feel desired and then, right, and then. Let's address what's, what's under the surface. Let's address that, right? And then, you might not wanna cuss them out or yell at them. You might not wanna drive off the side of the road. You might not want to do all of these things that are not gonna be helpful for you or other people because now you got some foundation, you got something that you can call back to, that you can reference again, right? Healing is an experience, not a destination. Healing is every single day. Healing is every single day. Waking up in the mirror and being like, I am beautiful. No matter what the world says, I am gorgeous. Not only I am, I love when I. I am able to feel when I. I have, what do I have ownership of? I am in control of, right? Healing is addressing that inner child and saying, I know you feel scared right now, but it's okay. I'm here like they were not. I'm here, they were not, I'm here, right? That's healing every single day. Healing is first feeling. When you break your foot, the first thing you do is feel. Oh my God, screams, right? Oh my God, this hurts, this hurts, this hurts, this hurts, this hurts. And then let's talk about how we can make this better. Not just, well, they broke up, let me start healing. No, 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 you broke up, you, girl, you gotta, you gotta feel. You gotta feel all that. He, feeling is a part of healing. But because of the way it has been advertised to us, because of the way healing has been presented to us, it makes us think that healing is a perfect and concrete, strict process. There will be times in your healing journey where you revert back to the thing that made you feel good. There will be times in your healing journey where you don't feel like you're healing, but you are because you're breathing and you're alive, right? There are times in your healing journey where you are gonna go back to the thing that made you feel good. You're gonna go back to the thing that you were actually trying to get away from. Healing is first feeling. Healing is sitting with oneself in solitude. Healing is putting people around you that will hold you accountable and give you grace. Healing is placing yourself in situations that you know will work. Putting yourself in places that you know are gonna benefit and uplift you and your spirit. Healing doesn't look like meditation for everyone. Even though a lot of us do meditate on a daily basis, we just don't classify it as such. Healing may be a walk. I'm gonna go shopping by myself. What does healing look like for you? I can't tell you that, but what I can tell you is that healing should be able to reveal to you those lessons that are gonna help better you for the future. Because this is this thing, this thing is broken. None of us are broken, but because this thing hurts, right? And it feels broken, I'm gonna feel that. Now let's put a cast over it. Let's 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 do the work, right? Every day. To slowly but surely reassure ourselves 
of the beauty, grace, and splendor we have. Let ourselves know how much love we have that others did not have for us. Healing is an experience, not a destination. You don't get to the place where you're healed. I'm healed. No, because it's always, because there's always something else. Insecurity, right? Depression, anxiety, intergenerational trauma, abandonment, there's always something. Healing is an, is an everyday experience, something I'm experiencing right now. Why do we run to certain things out of fear? When we start to live out of love and not fear, a lot, thing, a lot of things change. But statements like that, live out of love and not fear, takes years. We do a lot of things out of fear. Why am I making content right now? Is it out of love or fear? Why do I show up for my friends? Is it out of love or fear? Why do I show them love? Is it out of love or fear? Why am I at that job? Is it out of love or fear? Why do I not do that one specific thing? Is it out of love or fear? Healing is an experience. Healing is a journey. And the journey is where the beauty happens, not the destination. But healing cannot be healing without feeling. Not abandoning the external, intrinsic factors that are helping that. Not, not abandoning or forgetting or leaving behind divine energy, ancestral energy, spirit energy, but allowing all of that to come from within, right? We must work on healing out of love and not fear. I'm gonna work on loving myself. I'm gonna work on showing up for myself. I'm gonna work on doing all of these things. Maybe meditating, taking a walk, breath work, yoga, maybe doing an activity for me once every week. Healing, reading, right? Learning, learning writing, journaling, thinking, thinking, conversing about the conversations you want to have, right? Healing. Crying, letting it out, let it out. You have to feel before you can heal. There are levels to this. And if you do not feel before you heal, Nothing will be healed. Going from something that is broken or hurt to immediately slapping a Band-Aid on it will not do anything. You're putting a Band-Aid on a broken foot. You need to get a cast. You need to find these things that over time will help you, help benefit, grow, and uplift you. But first feel, cry your eyes out, yell, scream, and through that feeling comes the healing because you release. We must remember our natural, intrinsic, and instinctive desire to release. What do I have? What do I love? And what am I? I hope this shorter episode helped today. With all love and sincerity, I say, take care, take care, and take care.